In this video, we will cover the essential skill of converting fractions to percentages and vice versa. From experience, a top tip is to convert all values given into the same format so they can be easily compared. If the values within the answers are all in percentages, then convert all the values within the question stem to percentages. Remember, percentages are usually easier to compare to one another in comparison to fractions. Fractions are only easy to compare when they have a common denominator. The UCAT decision making subtest will often give us probabilities in different formats, hoping to confuse us as to which is more likely than the other. Having worked through this lesson, you should be confident in your ability to avoid such traps. Our objectives over the next five minutes or so are to show you how to convert percentages into fractions and fractions into percentages, and to show you examples of how these skills can be tested. You're probably perfectly aware of the fact that a 50% chance is the same as a half a chance, but are you as speedy to say that 2 out of 5 chance of something happening is equivalent to 60% chance of something not happening? As you know, speed is of the essence in the UCAT, so you'll need to be quick. Also, it is easy in stressful examination situation to be careless of decimal places. Be cautious with this. For example, 1 out of 100 is 1%, and 1 out of 1000 is 0.1%. Take an extra second or two to focus on the number itself within the question which you need to convert to avoid careless errors. The good news is that a relatively small range of fractions and percentages are covered in decision making and they are mostly round numbers. What about the basics? The essential conversions are displayed on the screen now. The majority of the time it will be these conversions that are directly being tested. Take the time to commit the essential conversions to memory. These are really basic and will save you a lot of time. Have a go at this first question and see for yourself how knowing the essential conversions can save you time. Let's convert each of the fractions into affirmative percentages, the percentage chance of being accepted into university. Firstly, University A and B have acceptance rates that are very expressed as affirmative percentages. University A has a 25% acceptance rate, University B has an acceptance rate above 30%, University C rejects 4 out of every 5 applicants, meaning it accepts 1 in 5. As we now have seen, 1 in 5 equates to 20%, so C has a 20% acceptance rate, University D rejects 3 out of every 5 applicants, so it accepts 2 in 5, which is equivalent to 40% acceptance rates for University D. I worked this out in my head by doubling both 2 and 5 to make the denominator 10. The fraction 4 out of 10 can then be easily converted to 40%. We now have 4 acceptance rates as displayed here. The only conclusion that must follow is that Scheimer has a better chance of getting into University D than getting into University A. Occasionally, if the UK cat is being harsh, they may give you probabilities other than the values listed above. If they do, these can be swiftly converted to a more familiar format. As always, have a go in your own first, and then we go through it together. Again, let's convert our fractions to affirmative percentages. 6 and 40 is not so easy, however, as it doesn't appear in our list, so we simplify it by dividing. Dividing this fraction by 2 simplifies it to 3 and 20. If 1 in 20 is 5%, then 3 in 20 is 15%. So 15% of the patients are not happy with the room service. This is equal to the percentage of patients who are very happy with the service provided. Hence, we know that the answer must be an equal proportion of patients are unhappy as are very happy. We hope you now feel much happy with probability questions in the UK CAT, specifically equating fractions and percentages within the decision making questions. Good luck! That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.